hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, oftentimes when we think about security, we think we are pretty safe if we were to just encrypt everything. Well, that's not true as it turns out. Today, we're going to be looking at a thing called a replay attack that shows just that. So here's the deal. Imagine just a plain text authentication kind of situation. We have a user going to a server to log in. The user will furnish their user ID and password. If this entire communication was actually tapped in by an eavesdropper, well, that will give them access to both the username and a password. So in the future, this eavesdropper can actually impersonate the user. So obviously that is a problem. But encryption doesn't actually help us very much in this situation. Let's say we use a very trivial encryption method to actually encrypt the communication between both parties. Note what has happened. Sure, the eavesdropper can no longer see, you know, what is actually being exchanged between the two parties. But what the eavesdropper can do is to actually record down what is being exchanged. All the eavesdropper needs to do to actually impersonate the user is to simply replay the same responses that the user has given. And it can do so without understanding of, you know, what the actual message is. Since this will still be correctly interpreted by the server, the authentication will still pass. The eavesdropper will still get through, despite the fact that we have actually used encryption. This is called a replay attack, and I think you can picture why that is so. You're simply replaying the past responses that you have recorded. Of course, there are many different ways to work around this since this is a very trivial example. One possible example is to actually use an encryption scheme that changes over time. That means every authentication attempt will look different, and as a result, well, you couldn't simply record and play back an old attempt. If that is not possible, another alternative will be to give the user a different challenge each time. Of course, if you give a different challenge, you would expect a different response, and what this means of course is that you cannot use a recording of an old attempt to, well, try and actually authenticate yourself later because the challenge has changed. So there you go, that is a very basic example of a replay attack and just one reason why simply encrypting everything isn't always going to work. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis, thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.